kingdom has no end. For he reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, one Lord. Amen. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, may you be made strong with all the strength that comes from his glorious power, and may you be prepared to endure everything with patience, while joyfully giving thanks to the Father who has enabled you to share in the inheritance of the saints in the light. He has rescued us from the power of darkness and transferred us into the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation, for in him all things in heaven and on earth were created, things visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or powers, all things have been created through him and for him. He himself is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, so that he might come to have first place in everything. For in him all the fullness of God was pleased to dwell. And through him, God was pleased to reconcile to himself all things, whether on earth or in heaven, by making peace through the blood of his cross. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. 
We pray for all who suffer, whether their suffering is physical or spiritual. We ask you to support all, give their strength, their skill, and their stamina in the ministry of healing. We pray for those who ask for our prayers, particularly for John, Peter, Eileen, Lucy, Eric, Pauline, Sylvia, Gwyn, George, Francesca, Matt, David, Ali Theobald, Steve, Jill, Marina, Patrick and Jeanette. We pray for those who are ill, recovering from surgery and undergoing treatment. We ask that you will be with them and with us in all these stressful times. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. We pray for all those who have died recently, particularly for Peter Zanetti and for David English, for those who near mind falls at this time, and for those who mourn them. May those who have gone before us know the joy of living with you forever, and we pray that we too will one day share the life which has no ending. We give thanks for lives well loved, lived, and for happy memories. Lord, in your mercy, give us courage and deepen our faith. Merciful Father, accept these prayers of the Savior of the Son, our Savior. 